In Division 6, the Coldwater Cavaliers are looking to repeat as state champs since they went four in a row from 2012 to 2015. For all the offense the Cavs have put up in the postseason, the D got it started last week. Tanner Mullenkamp opened the scoring with an 83-yard interception return for a touchdown, and Coldwater never looked back en route to a 35-13 win over West Jefferson. The afternoon contest pitted Coldwater against another team from this side of Ohio in Cary. The Blue Devils are far from the state blue bloods that Coldwater is. Cary at state for only the third time in school history and are looking for their first state title since 1975. Cavaliers taking the field and charging as they get set to take on Kerry, trying to make it back-to-back -back state titles, and the defense shows up first. Josh Kopp getting in the backfield and getting the quarterback sack with a little help from his friends. The water defense on point, so the offense taking over now, and Reese Dellinger showing off the arm, going deep, and Tyler Schwederman runs underneath it, makes the catch, and down inside the five. Then Isaac Fullenkamp gets the handoff and caps off the drive. He breaks outside for a touchdown. Coldwater takes the lead. They strike first, but Kerry would answer. Jordan Vallejo, after a long drive, he punches it in for a touchdown. Two-point conversion is good. Second quarter now, fourth and four for Kerry, and the Coldwater defense getting the stop. Nothing doing on offense, though. Kerry gets it back, and after another drive, Derek Lonsway on the QB keeper keeps it himself for the touchdown. Kerry on top. Now Dellinger dropping back the pass, but he has stripped. Carey, after some bobbles, comes up with the fumble recovery. Blue Devils in business, and they take advantage of the turnover as Vallejo punches it in for another short touchdown run. Blue Devils 64 rushing attempts in this game. Under 20 seconds to go before the half, and Dellinger throws the screen to Taylor Mullenkamp, and Mullenkamp picking up some big yardage much needed big play for Coldwater heading towards the half. Can they score before halftime? Yes, they do. Time expiring. Dellinger tosses it to the end zone and Mullenkamp is right there, makes the catch, foot in bounds, and it's trimming the lead. 23-14 carry as we head into halftime. Mullenkamp 81 yards and four catches on the day. Third quarter now, Carey facing a fourth and three, and once again, Coldwater making a defensive stand. Needing points fast in the fourth. Dellinger hitting Marcel Blazen game deep down the left line, stretching to make the catch. Good to move the sticks. Coldwater running out of time. Last chance, fourth down. Dellinger's pass incomplete, and Carey gets it done. 26 to 14. Coldwater runners up in the state. Carey, their first state championship since 1975. Dellinger 200 yards passing, Mullenkamp 81 yards on four receptions. Carey 64 rushing attempts for 259 yards. Viejo counting for 25 carries, 95 yards on the ground. Afterwards, we heard from Chip Otten, head coach of the Cavaliers. Ah, you know, just a, a good hard, hard fought game and and what we were fearful of kind of happened that they're that the big the big strong run game would, uh, you know, would hog the clock, and, and uh, unfortunately we had a couple of turnovers, really, really forced turnovers. Got hit the back and on one, and uh, you know they, they made, I guess, a few more plays than we did, and, and uh, you know maybe just the, the, the physicality of it was, was tough. We played hard on defense, uh, just just not enough time to 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 make up those points. No, you know, we'll look, we'll look back in a couple days and, and feel good about the season and, and, and feel good about how hard they played tonight and, and uh, you know, battled and, and uh, just just came up a little bit short. That was just a, what, I mean, we kind of all told each other right before that play, if they get in here, it's probably over. Like, we have to get a stop here. And we all just kind of looked at each other and said, right here, if we don't do it, it's over. So once we got that stop, we knew there was still a chance and we knew we could keep fighting. So that was big. Yeah, we had a pretty decent drive going. I think we got it out to about the 50, and and then, uh, gosh darn it, I think it was a fourth and, I don't know, fourth and five, we didn't get it. Uh, uh, you know, you kind of know what you're getting, but like you said, it, it's whether or not you can and, and have the have the biggest, big enough physical enough guys to – to uh, to get those stops right and get them get them out of rhythm right you know, I don't I don't know that they had maybe just a couple plays that were that were not um, not positive positive yardage gains and so so when you're when you're them you're thinking well we got we got four downs to get ten yards and 
and they keep chunking at it three, four, three, and you think, well, we're playing pretty good, giving up three yards carry, and then then it's a first down again. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a style. Um, Mechanicsburg had a similar style, but not the not the same personnel. It's tough because I have to stay lo loose on the sideline and just and then just going out there and trying to put out a good drive together. I mean, it's it's a lot to deal with, but if you want to be successful, you have to do that. For the O line, it just they kept changing up certain things on the D line. So every time we'd get out there, we're expecting one thing. Then if they change it, I've made it hard because we only would see them three, four plays, and then have to be on defense for the next eight or nine minutes, whatever. So yeah, that made it difficult for us. Coming up on the state title recap show, we head to Division Five. Versailles looking for some history of their own, but some history standing in their way. Can the Tigers take care of it? Find out next.